Hey y'all, so I'm back here for another snapshot session with you all. And um, I was getting inspired by Leonor Tawney. Um, I know that I had done a, um, the last video that I did was on the OG business cards. And I noticed that there were some comments about the postcards. And I know that that postcard video that I did quite a couple years ago, a few years back, still gets a lot of views. And postcards are fun, right? So I thought, let's do postcards today, but we're going to use the collaging with our jelly prints. And um, I think I'm going to do some quick echo dye. I'm going to show you how I actually right at my desk will... Um, kind of stain a few sheets of paper very quickly. And so we'll start off with that. But our inspiration today is Leonor Tawney. I don't know if any of you are familiar with Miss Tawney, but she when I think of her work, I think she's the queen of postcard collages. Um, she was very active in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. I think she passed away either in the late 90s, early 2000s or something like that, but she was 90 something years old when she did and she worked right up to the end. But this is a really lovely book of her work and I'll just flip through kind of quickly. I mean, there's a picture of her in here if you guys are not, I don't know if it was one. She also did um, collage, um, she, I mean, large weavings and stuff. But anyway, her, I've always loved her collages. I've always been inspired inspired by her collaging and her work as a collage artist. And so this is just a book full of postcards and such great ideas. And it's such a great way to use the bits and pieces of our jelly prints, as well as things we cut out of the magazine, things we're inspired by, because actually these we're sending out to, you know, to people. And it's not about, um, worrying about if that stuff is can be used in our work but of course if you want to just create a series of postcards as art now leonora she actually mailed all of hers some of them you'll see have postmarks on them so this was art that she did and send out to her friends and she you know a lot of times it's be writings writing on them and you know like here, you can see where she wrote something down in the margin. So she was pretty busy with sending these out to people, but also could definitely do a series of postcards as art. And that would be really neat. Um, see right here, like, I guess she, like she wrote something and then she wrote over, they didn't have to really, it's like she obliterated it, but anyhow, it's cool. So if you get a chance to find this book, I'm sure they must have it on Amazon, but I thought I was inspired by this one today. You guys know how I like the the um, Asian text and this coloration and what have you. So I thought this one was inspirational for me. So we're going to do something here similar and just inspire you guys, give you a little inspiration about having some fun and looking at your jelly prints differently and also looking at collaging a little differently. So what I'm going to do is I have my little pan. I get this this little pan from the dollar store. Um, I mean, you know, it was the top that went into on those silver foil pans. And it's worked out pretty well. I use it over and over again. But I'm going to use some cardstock. So this is like a, um, it's a nice cardstock. It has a little bit of a, I don't know if you can see it, it has a grain too. You might not be able to see it. But like if I wanted to do some really quick echo dyeing, I'm going to show you exactly what I would do. And <clears throat> we're going to get it done, we're going to get it dried, and we're going to get collaged in the next 25 minutes. So here we go. I had a little bit of my drink. So here's this morning's coffee. So I would be right here working, just like you see me doing. And yep, I'm done with the coffee. No need to throw it away right off, you know. So what I do is I have one of these little... Um, these little better crocker things you get from the Dollar Tree. Because it's like a brush, but, you know, it's, um, it's uh, you know, what is this, plastic or rubber or Teflon, whatever it is. So what I'm going to do is sort of spread it in like that. Then I'm going to flip it over. Because I want this to have sort of an echo stock stain look to it so I can get that old feeling of her postcards. Because, of course, 
Now hers is aged with time, but I want to get that feeling of age because you guys know how much I like that. So here, right on my desk, I find when you use this little rubber brush, you can really kind of get stuff in. It doesn't get too much liquid on what we're doing. You can get some staining in here. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to get this waste paper that I love working on. Move this out the way. And uh, this is that sort of drawing paper, it comes on the roll. I get it from Ikea. And so I use this, I'm staining. So I'm gonna put a little bit more on this um, paper towel and I'm just gonna blot it around the place. And, and so working like this, you know, we can get it um, dry at the same time. You could actually um, definitely use the, what am I trying to say? The, you know, the dryer, you know, how we use to dry things up. But I find that if I just do this and put it aside and I'm really just taking it and uh, really just kind of drying it in between the sheets of paper a bit, to get it stained. So we get some of that good, yummy color on it. And I like the fact that, um, you know, we have these unarea uneven areas. Okay, so I'm gonna put this aside and let this dry. So I'll put it like this on the dry side. Put that down. And then what we're going to do is sort of look at our elements here. Oh, I meant to put some on this. So I wanted to use some of this. This is on um, photocopy on my, um, what is this? onion skin paper. So we're just gonna do this up a little bit. Get some staining on it. And get this to dry right up. So let's see how this, how fast this dries, it should be okay. Main thing is just kind of blot. So, because we just want to get a little staining on here, it's a little color on here. We're not trying to, you know, go for any deep, deep color, but just enough. This is actually, this is grab color nicely anyway. We can see that's been stained a bit. Okay, so put this over there. And in the meantime, I'm going to start working on my elements. So I pulled some things, pulled some jelly prints that I have. Um, I sort of like this, this egg thing. Actually, what I did is I photocopied some stamps that I had on a really old envelope that had been, um, that had been canceled. And I had like real stamps, but I couldn't find them. because, I, Like, you know, I'm doing this whole purge thing. And I couldn't find them, and I wanted to get started with the video, so I just decided, well, I'll use these photocopy stamps. And then this Paravion is a nice little element for our postcard. So what I'm doing is just kind of thinking in terms of elements to use on this postcard. And I don't know what I had something else here that I think I moved. 
I had a piece of here it is. Has some echo stained, some you know, tea and coffee stained paper. So I wanted to use that. Have that there, and I have a little bit of um This is rust paper. <laughs> so I'm sort of thinking in terms of like these elements coming together, sort of bits of it. So I think I'm going to just, just kind of doing some intuitive collaging here and not, you know, knowing exactly what I want to do, but knowing that I want to kind of have this sort of Asian inspired postcard. So I'm just getting these elements together. So this one I had cut out of here and um, just kind of sort of planning where things will go. Using all of our bits. So what we sh should we call this? Our, um, Jelly junk of postcards. <laughs> you know how I like all my little terms. Maybe not that. Maybe some of this. So, you know, let's do some, let's re resurrect the art of uh, Leonor Tani and use our, our jelly prints and all that good stuff for making small usable collages that we can send through the mail. Okay, so just planning this thing. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna get my mat and I wanna cut, so we get my postcard going. Still a little wet, but I always just get started anyway. I'm working. I want to show you guys, like if I were working, you know, and I had more than 20 minutes, I would uh, let this dry up more. But I'm, I'm demonstrating here in this snapshot that you literally can do all of this at your desk. You know, we don't have to think in terms of, oh, I, I want some coffee stained paper. What do I do, you know? Um, no, just do it at your desk, put it to the side, like how I just did it there. You don't have to have a big surface of it, put it to the side, let it dry while you're working on something else and then pack, come back and pick it up and, uh, you got it. No big studio session, you know? Okay. So, let's go on this. Okay, just down there. Use one of these sections here. I'm just measuring it in half, you know, just cutting it into quarters it actually i mean i want these to sort of be individual um envelopes so that's why i'm not like just doing it on the whole um what am i saying not we're not using we're not like we're not doing a full page and then um, get this lined up. We're not doing a full page of printing or, you know, collaging and then tearing it down though. You could do something like that, but, um, I really like the idea of each individual postcard coming off as its own postcard. So, I think that if we collage the whole page and then cut it down, you could actually do that and then come back and, you know, 
even refine the images more, but I really want this to just look like, you know, I was cutting this with my scissors because it's still a little wet and I, and I didn't want it to get all kind of, and so those raggedy edges, you know. Alrighty, so this is our postcard. So let's sort of see, the stamp is huge. Let me get a smaller stamp. This ain't the stamp for the post, but I have one here. Let's use this. This is a Czech, Czechoslovakian. I wonder what the year is it on it. I can see the year, but I know this was like in the 80s. This envelope. Okay, so that would be perfect there, the stamp. Okay. So um so we'll kind of leave this area right here to write in, but at the same time. I like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and just start gluing some of this. I think it'll be easier. You guys know that those of us who are just avid jelly printers, I tell you, it's like always looking for all the ways to use all your scrap, because I don't like throwing any of mine away. So I'm always looking at ways to use my scraps and, you know, to create with them. So of course, lodging and our artwork, but I do make my cards, not only my personal greeting cards, but one of my fun things, my favorite things to do is to make postcards when I'm traveling because I'm already doing my, um, my journaling. And so I like to take bits and pieces from that and make Let's see how I want to do that. I want to leave that spot there and make um, my postcards and send them to people. I love doing that. So. All righty. So that's down like this. So that's the rust staining piece of paper that I had. And... that there. So this is something to think about even when you're traveling. You have your journal with you, you're doing your artwork, you know, especially where, you know how you pick up pieces from different places you're traveling and, you know, you may be using it in your art journaling time. You still have all these bits and bobs. It's like so cool just to, um, you know, use them in this way. And actually, I'm going to, because that's the front of it, though this is the back of it, I'm still going to wrap some of this around to the back, because why not, right? That's the side that, because um, you can have a two-sided or a one-sided. So this, the front side is the side where in the case of Leonor, she always would write the little, you know, to from right there. Um, and a lot of times the back of the card is empty, so you can actually decorate the back of the card as well. And a lot of times what I like to do is I'll just have bits and pieces come over around to the back because it decorates it. And then I'm going to write on the back of it anyway. So I'll just have little bits and pieces on the back that I can then write my message. And this would be the front. So, you know, the stamp is going to go there. Um, part of on there. So then, what I want to do is put this in here. I'm going to use a bit of this tea bag. I like that. Let's use a little bit of that. So I'll go ahead and put some glue. I just put my glue stick right on this too. Pretty strong. I'm just kind of gluing over to the side so that 
I'll have to keep on moving the postcards. I hope that's okay. I'm just glue sticking, glue stick. This is a neat way to kind of knock this pattern back and yet kind of give it this extra, you know, you can sort of see that blue glue is going to dry nicely. But see how it just knocks it back a bit. So then I want to put this down. But I feel like I want another piece of something else here. I might use a little bit of this. Well, that's kind of cool. So I'll move this over some. Kind of put this down, put that underneath it. And... So we're gonna put this down. Oops, knocking my glue over. So I think what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna put this down underneath here like that. Just keep on adding layers. The cool thing about this kind of postcard art is just to layer it up. Just keep on adding layers. And that's one of the things that Leonore did with her postcard. She just really layered them up and just kept on telling a story with, you know, work. Then I'm going to put this, this sort of down like that. I'm ready. This right here, I jelly print using a mask. So that's how I get this circle printed. Actually, one of my absolute favorite artists and collage artists together is uh, Leonor Tani. I remember just loving her art as a young person, just considering being an artist. Oh, she was definitely one of my iconic, you know, oh, when I grew up, I want to be just like Leonor. She had this incredible loft in New York City. It was huge. She was a collector. I am, loves to collect. And, um, love collage, like all kind of papers and books and stuff like that and found objects and see so far what we're getting there, see how much layer we're getting out of this piece. Like your eye doesn't know where to, to look first. And that's what you want when you're collaging. You just want a lot of layers. Okay, so I was thinking of something else here. Oh, I had this little piece. I think I wanna put this there. I'm going to leave just enough room for, I don't like the way this stamp is kind of white. So let me just see if I can put a little bit of color on it. Even though the stamp itself is a bit white, I just want, I'm just taking some more of my tea, coffee I mean, and I'm just literally just kind of sponging it off. Ah, that looks better, much better. Okay, so where was that little piece I just had? Hmm. Here we go, here it is. I kind of want to put this down and then I put this on top of it. I'll leave just enough room to put an address, but it's funny because where is my book? Leonore, she wrote small too, so she used to get See, like a lot in a little space. See right there, like when she would go to write the address. I'm sorry, can we see this? My soft box is really, there, a lot of light. Okay, 
See that, how she would just have this little spot right there or over here. So you don't have to think in terms of having to have a whole big, huge space. Just kind of write small and get it to fit in. This is all about the art. <laughs> So this is a piece of my two descripting done with ink on um, like that on the um, calligraphy paper. And I love using these thin weight papers too, like the calligraphy paper, because when you're going to collage, you just you can get a lot on there without it being too big and bulky. Okay, I'm gonna put the stamp on there. We're writing this from Czechoslovakia, where we've been visiting. <laughs> okay. And I love that little staining down there that I left exposed. See, as the card dries, we're getting a lot of neat color and stuff like that to it. So let's see. And it was one other thing. Oh, I know. I wanted to put something back here on the back to tie it together. Though I'm going to be writing, I'm just going to put like something right there just to sort of, you know, carry on with some images on the back. She oftentimes definitely did, um, like I said, work on the front and the back of her cards. If you get the book, it's really nicely documented, but you can. Um, see where the some in some cases the front and the backs of the cards are available to check it out so i'm gonna put this kind of like right there to the edge the nice thing about this is that if i wanted to write all the way across it i could you know i could kind of write in between the text and stuff that we have going Alrighty, so here we have it. So that's one. Oh, I want to put the party on on there. There we go. Let's put this. That right there. I want to make it a little thinner. And then I'll take the corner rounder again, because I had used it to get around the corners. A little thin, let me see, I'm kind of, let me just, it's gotten a little small. I can just round the corners myself. Okay. Alrighty, so. Let's put this on there. And of course, in any of these cases where you have, this is just a photocopy of an original stamp, both of these. But when you have the real stamps, of course, you can use those too. That's always fun. I generally do, will put some real ones on there, but like I said, I couldn't find them before and on the air. So here we have it. I saw a postcard collage using all of our extra jelly prints, printed pieces, um, a little bit on the back side so we can actually write on this, write our message, whatever we're sharing. And uh, there you have it. So just a little bit more jelly printing, collaging, you know, creating our postcards and some of our um, our own greeting cards and what have you, or just note cards ourselves. Alrighty, there we are. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Another little bit of inspiration. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.